What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fargo, and Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful holiday. But today, we're actually going to have a little fun with Lucia Plume against Gabriel in story mode. Now, warnings, you know, there may be a little bit of spoilers in here as far as facing Gabriel, but I'm just going to do kind of a little walkthrough against this guy. Now, I don't know about the first time you face him in story mode, whether or not this happens, but after I know after you clear it the first time, your life just keeps replenishing. You really won't even die. So he actually becomes pretty easy to beat because of that. But taking into account, you're just trying to learn this boss because he is going to be a future pain cage, just like Kamu, just like Rosetta, right? They showed up in story modes first, and then they ended up coming in as pain cage bosses. And it's going to be the same for Gabriel. He's going to be a pain cage boss also in the future. And we're going to be using Lucia Plume for it. Now, my Lucia, it's not built up, uh, maxed out by any means, right? She does have her six star weapon, which is really nice. That does increase your ice damage and also increases your three ping damage by 10%. That's really great, especially whenever you're using a four piece Hannah, which has a lot of sentry with her kit because every time she does a three ping, well, every when she does two three pings, you can actually enter her Arctic mode. And then after that, if you do two more three pings of any color, then you can actually go into your signature. That's something I always keep in mind. And with the Hannah set, it's just, it's just nuts for her, man. It really does increase your damage uh, by 25%, which is awesome, guys. That synergizes really well with her six star weapon, even if you don't have your six star weapon. Plume is insane. Her signature just does so much damage that it's not even funny. But whenever you have a four-piece set, whenever you enter the Matrix, you gain a single orb. And that, that really does help. The more orbs, the better, especially if it's like a red orb, because that's her main damage-dealing orb. And then we have the Ice in the set here, which actually will reduce the corresponding elemental resistance, you know. So because it says corresponding, you know, this set actually works really well on Lucia. She's the only ice elemental dealing, dealing, dealing character in the game right now. So I got a little tongue twisted there. So this is really the best set for her for the time being. In the future, that will change as we get more ice characters. So we're going to jump into the story mode and we're going to have a little fun here. We're going to have a little fun. Now, Gabriel, the thing that makes Gabriel really, really fun and an interesting boss to face is that he has a lot of delayed attacks. Like he'll do a little Q, but he won't attack immediately. And he waits a little bit and then you go into your skills. Now, a little trick and something to know about Lucia is because her, now she does a lot of damage when she's in ice form for sure. But whenever you do her signature, the burst damage on that damn thing is just absolutely nuts. So what you're ideally trying to do is whenever you do the signature, if you have a, the glorious set on, you know, your tank character or support, whatever it may be, you want to apply that QT when you do your signature. You want that elemental resistance down when you do the QT. That's very, very important. And when I start off the fight, I always, you know, I'm, you know, my Ultima is not unlocked. Therefore, I don't have eight orbs when I start off the fight. So I only got four orbs when I start it off. So what I like to do is because of the way Lucia plays, what I like to do is I like to go into my matrix, you know, do two, three pings because you could be able to do one three ping or one ping. That's going to be a three ping in matrix. And then hopefully you'll have a three ping orb and you can go into another three ping because she has the Hannah set. It's actually going to trigger another three ping automatically. So, it's, you know, as long as you go in there, you'll be able to do your two, three pings immediately once you go into matrix. And then after that, you don't want to go in your ice form yet. Once you do two, three pings, you can go into your ice form. But what you want to do is you want to delay. You want to wait and wait and wait. Because you want to make sure that whenever you apply your QTEs, that you're doing your signature move all at the same time. But you guys see what I'm going to do here. I'll show you guys a video at the very end of this, uh, actually a pretty decent run. But this is just going to be, you know, me coming in here, kind of like a walkthrough as far as facing Gabriel. So I'll show you guys how I always start off the fight with this guy. This is a cool boss. I really love fighting this guy. I've actually spent quite a bit of time practicing against him. So we just do a little strike here. There we go. We did two, three pings. Now, what I want you guys to notice is, see our gauge down at the bottom? It's filled up. Once you do two, three pings, it's filled up. I don't have to worry about dying because my life's just going to replenish. I don't know if that happens after, like, the first time you play story mode against Gabriel. But I know after that, you can see my life just replenishes. But once this bar is built up, what you want to do is you want to try to go into a three ping afterwards, okay? So that's exactly what we're going to do now. Now there I got hit. There we go. And you do through two, three pings here. Apply your signature, apply your QTEs and bam, look at all that damage. Right? That is an insane amount of damage. Her burst damage is just freaking nuts. Now Gabriel likes to do all kinds of little goody moves. 
Uh, that move there, whenever you're highlighted, you actually that's when you actually need to dodge. Okay, so he does this little move where he kind of dashes across. And there you just want to dodge twice, right? He does a few little moves. So right here he's going to light me up, and then you dodge, right? As soon as he lights you up, right, you see that little electric around you, then you want to move out of the way. There he just does a little thrust. You do a jet slam down, and then you dodge away from it. You can actually react to that skill right there. Booyah. I mean, once you fight Gabriel, he's not that bad. He really isn't. There we go. And right now I can hit Arctic Mode because my meter's full. Now, something that I want you guys to note is whenever you're playing with Lucia Plume, Whenever you go into Arctic mode, right? Whenever this turns changes to blue, this meter is going to start running down. Your ice damage is going to start falling down. The the more of this you have, the more damage you're going to do actually on your signature move. So that's why it's important to do what I did earlier, where you're going to as soon as you hit your signature move, like you're going to have most of this bar filled, and you're going to do an insane amount of damage by doing it that way. Now, once you do this here, uh, Gabriel's going to fly up in the air. He's going to fly up in the air. I don't know why I did that, but he's going to fly up in the air. He's going to try to trick us a little bit. And you just want to try to dodge this thing. He flies up in the air, and then boom. And you just try to dodge it. Okay? Now, he'll back away a lot of times. Now, he's just going to sit stationary. We don't want him to do that. I want him to kind of come after me. And there we go. So, right there, he goes into a frenzy sometimes, and he'll fly right at you. Okay? And when he does, he'll right when he goes into frenzy, he'll come up in the air. And as soon as he comes up in the air and he takes off, that's when you want to hit your dodge. Okay. Now there he does two attacks where you want to dodge both of them. There we go. Can I get away from him a little bit here? I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little damage to the guy real quick, just for a little fun. And there's that frenzy where he flies up in the air and then he comes after you. And a lot of times, what he does is. There we go. I see like right there, we didn't have two, three pings. So we couldn't go into our matrix. Now look what's happening here. That meter is running down. So now when we do our matrix move, or not in our matrix, but when we do our signature move, we're not going to do near as much damage. That's why it's important to be able to do two, three pings the second time around whenever you apply your signature move. I'm going to kind of go over here. There we go. We just got one QT. We'll do a little bit of damage here. There we go. Okay. That attack can give me a little time, that little straightforward thrust. Okay. A lot of times when he flies up in the air, he'll just kind of jump up and slam down. Now, I could hit my three ping right here, and actually it's going to do it again. All right. Let's see what he does here. All right. And the thing is, guys, like whenever you have this, your life replenishes like this, you can sit and practice his movements. And I would highly advise people to practice Gabriel, because if you practice against this guy, it's going to prepare you for whenever he shows up as a pain cage boss. And that's really, really important. It's going to help your gameplay so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there I didn't quite dodge it. Kind of off timing a little bit there. No biggie. I mean, it's really, really going to help. All right? Let's see what he does here. And see? And then I could go in Arctic Form. And boom. Dead. Right? Very, very easy. It's not that difficult. But again, I don't know if the first time you do this, if... Uh, whether or not you your life actually replenishes, I'm not really sure. I don't remember, but I don't I don't want to use my serum either right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and retreat out of here. That's another thing, by the way. You can just come in here and you can just practice and practice and practice. And if you don't want to use your serum, just get out of there and retreat. And you won't use any of your serum. But I mean, there's some things I didn't really go over when it comes to facing against Gabriel. I mean, it's more kind of like a 
like a walkthrough. But I just wanted to show you guys how to really like play Lucia whenever you're facing that guy. I mean, the, really, the best way to do Lucia is if you had the, like, you know, some a bunch of three ping reds. But it doesn't always work out that way. RNG doesn't always, you know, go into your favor when it comes to getting the right orb. So you just kind of make do with what you have. But, you know, I, you know, in my case, I have Kamui with a Da Vinci set. And I always want the red orbs to come out. That way I can apply Kamui first. And then he'll bring in Liv automatically because he's got that Da Vinci set on him. So let me know how you're all doing against Gabriel. And I do hope you're enjoying your holidays. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. June 2 plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye-bye.